Welcome to another tutorial video by Simple Needs for the new A4 HUD version 2.0. In this video we're going to cover an easy way to transfer your animations and AO configuration cards from a third party dance HUD or AO. To do this the first thing you need to do is make sure that you are on a parcel where you can res objects and run scripts. You're probably going to need room for about 50 to 60 prims depending on how many prims are used in your old chim or dance HUD and your old animation override. Then you're going to res both of those on the ground. You see here I've resed one of the old just boring black ball chims and one of the brand new fancy uh, Vista animation override HUDs. Now we're going to go to the Alchemy 4 HUD version 2.0 folder that you should have received when you unpacked your HUD and in there you're going to see several scripts. Now there's two sets of scripts in here. You, you don't want to use the A4 scripts. Those are to transfer inventory from the old 1.05 HUD. And if you have one of the old 1.05 HUDs and you want to transfer your inventory from that into your new 2.0 HUD, uh, take a look at the other tutorial video on inventory transfer and it'll cover that process. The ones you're going to want to deal with in this case are going to be the 3P to A4 scripts. That's a third party to A4 transfer script. And there are two. There's one for the CHIM and one for the AO. And basically all you're going to do is just drag the CHIM script into the CHIM and you'll get feedback from that right away that says third party non A4 dance HUD ready for transfer command. So basically it's now listening so that when your HUD sends the command it'll identify your HUD and send the inventory. Now it's worth noting that in some of the more complex HUDs out there, you may not be dealing with the root prim, uh, which is what you're going to get if you just drag on top of an object. If you do have a dance HUD, and if you right click and edit it, and don't see your animations right away in that contents window in your edit tab, um, then you're going to need to identify the prim that actually has the animations in it, in which case you'll need to do an edit link part, and then click on that, and instead of dragging the transfer script right onto the object, you're just going to go ahead and drag it into the contents window. Because you want to make sure that that transfer script winds up in the same prim as all the animations. 99.9% .9 of the time, you won't have to worry about that. Um, those of you that do have to worry about it are probably already aware. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the same with the AO transfer script. We're going to drag that right into the Vista AO. And likewise, you'll see you get a response that says third party non A4 AO ready for transfer command. Now we've got both our objects loaded up. We can go ahead and res our A4 version 2.0 HUD nearby. It doesn't have to be piled right on top like it is here. You, as long as everything is within 10 meters, it's all good and all the communications will do what they're supposed to do. Now you will notice that the first time you res one of the A4 HUDs, you need to wait for it to finish its boot up sequence. You're going to want to wait for the texture groups and the classes and the uh, attachment sections to load until you get the version 2.0 ready message. And then likewise you're going to want to wait until you see the chim config loaded message. Because you want to make sure that the HUD isn't still doing something when you start doing the transfer. Otherwise the script events will get queued and it makes it more likely that you're going to run into a failed transfer headaches. So once everything is all stable and ready to go, which we're all done and ready to transfer now, you go back to the menu here and you can go ahead and click transfer. Now this message in this uh, window here is going to tell you that you need to make sure you have everything resed on the ground. If you do not have one of these HUDs resed on the ground, you will not have the proper permissions to either remove animations from nor put animations into that HUD. And especially when you're dealing with no copy animations, you're just looking to lose some of those animations because uh, if you send an animation from an object that has permission to send it into an object that doesn't have permission to receive it, it's gone. It disappears. The only way to get it back would be to contact Linden Labs and see if they'll do a rollback on the server for the sim. And they're only even going to think about doing that if it's on a private island. And even then you've got to convince them that it's worth the time to do it. So make sure you've got everything resed on the ground. The other thing is, is that you probably want to make sure that you picked up the crate that your new 2.0 HUD was delivered in. Since those third party scripts are also in that crate and they are active 
uh, so that you don't have to worry about going into the script and reactivating it, that sort of thing. Now, there isn't anything in the crate that should transfer because there's that would be a problem because there's no animations in there. Uh, but you could wind up with extra note cards in your AO that you don't need. So just make sure you go ahead and pick up the crate um, or delete it since it's copy. You should have a copy in your inventory anyway. So now we've got everything resed and we're going to go ahead and click the transfer button and immediately you'll see that your new HUD says it requests a transfer from the old HUD and then your old Vista Animations AO and your old Chim will both respond and say new HUD identified, new dance HUD, new AO, uh, initiating transfer of inventory. It'll tell you how many items it's tagging. In this case it tagged 15 for the Chim and 107 for the AO and it'll start the transfer. Now there were only 15 in the Chim so it's already done but as the AO continues to transfer you'll get periodic updates about every 20 items that'll let you know that it is progressing so that you're not just sitting there staring at a blank chat window waiting for it to say done. You see here 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, sent 107 and it's all done. Now you'll notice that this menu up here has a continued warning that says make sure you give it time to do its thing because if you were to pick up the HUD in the middle of this again you could wind up losing animations. You'd certainly interrupt the transfer and then you'd have to go and try and find the animations that didn't transfer and transfer them by hand because if you did the automated process again it would send everything and then you'd wind up with duplicates of the ones that you'd already received. So just be patient and wait for it to be done. Now there's also some notes in here about some note cards that don't get copied, but since that's got to do with transferring from another A4 HUD into the current A4 HUD, you can just ignore that. Now all of the note cards that were in your animation override are going to be sent. Um, some of those may not be necessary. If you know which ones they are, you can just open your HUD or edit it and go into the contents and you can identify the note cards that you don't need and go ahead and delete them. Um, like in this case, we already have a Read Me First Zao 2 note card in here. And there's a Help Read Me First note card that comes in from the Vista Animations note card as uh, AO as well. And we really don't need that. So we'll go ahead and delete that. Now you don't have to delete it. But if you don't, then when you go to Load an Animation Override note card, it is possible that you could wind up with a note card in here that doesn't do you any good. And that sums up the transfer process. Um, if you wanted to configure the advances in your Chim now, you'd go ahead and right click and edit the HUD, edit link parts, go into your Chim Prim, and you would see all your animations are listed down there. And you could go into the configuration note card and add your dance names to whichever dance groups you want to put them in. Um, likewise, with the new uh, 2.0 HUD, you can now specify how long those dances are uh, with just by just putting a colon and then a time after the dance name. We'll go ahead and close that up. Since we're all done, all you've got to do now is just go ahead and pick up your HUD. And you'll notice when you take it back into inventory, you still have the 2.0 that came in the box because it's copy. And the new one will pick up whatever uh, properties the animations had which more than likely will either be no transfer or no copy if you've got a mix it could be no transfer and no copy um, additionally since the scripts are no mod no trans it'll also show that as well um, uh, my own personal A4 HUD since I have some no copy animations in there every time I pick it up the inventory reflects no mod no transfer no copy that is not a point for concern when you res it on the ground all of the parts of the HUD that are supposed to be mod will still be mod. You'll still be able to add your animations and note cards whenever you res it on the ground. So now we're just going to wear the HUD. And when you open it up, if you go to the dance panel, you'll see that it's reading in the configuration note card. Since we're just loading a blank config, when it gets to the end of this, it's going to process through all of the animations that it sees in the dance HUD, and it's going to add those as unlisted dances, uh, which you can access through either the single dance mode or the all dances mode in the HUD. And you can see that that's all ready to go. You can browse them. You can select one, 
and you're set. If we go to the AO, you can go ahead and click the little disc and choose the AO that you want to load. Since we copied our note cards over, those are handy and ready to go. And we tell it we want to load the relaxed in this case. And it loads up all 62 animations that are appropriate to that. And it's ready to go. And that sums up the inventory transfer process. Uh, of course, if you don't need your copies of your AO and your CHIM, you can delete those or you can just pick them up and take them back into your inventory because you're all done with those. If you've got any questions about this process, do feel free to drop me a note card or an IM. Um, that's to Galather Darkstone. Um, also, you can join either the Simple Needs group, which um, I'll tell you straight up front, also supports the club. So there are a fair number of notices and chatter that goes on in there. Or you can join the Simple Needs Updates group. And that group is strictly for the store. Uh, so if you want to avoid all of that club chatter, that's no problem. Just go ahead and join that updates group. Thank you very much for your time. Stay sinful and have a great day.